This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord's forgiveness. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Salvation history is a testimony of God's merciful and enduring love. Meditating on God's patience and mercy, we in turn must be kind to one another. The first reading. A reading from the book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have care for all, but you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is a source of justice, your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who you know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience, you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds. But those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good grounds for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
we struggle with imperfection, even in prayer. But God is patiently at work in us through the Holy Spirit who helps us in our weakness. Let us now listen to our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. He proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants, it becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable, the kingdom of heaven is like yeast, that the woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my heart in parables. I will announce what was slain hidden from the foundation of the world. Then dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. Jesus said in reply, he who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest at the end is the end of the age. And the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burnt up with fire... 
so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, everybody. Palakpakan natin ang salita ng Diyos. How do we reflect on this gospel? Pag napakainit ng panahon, init ng araw, pawis na pawis ka, ha? mga alas tres, alas quatro ng hapon, gusto mo magmerienda. Sa tindi ng init, ano ang favorite merienda ng Pilipino pag mainit ang hapon? Everybody? Correct ka dyan. Halo, halo. Why do I mention this? Because this is what the gospel is all about. Halo-halo. Sa mundong ito, ha? halo-halo ang mabuti at ang masama. Ang mabuting damo at ang masamang damo. As an old movie suggests with the title, a very old movie, western, The Good, The Bad, and... The ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oo. Kung good ka, okay. Kung bad ka, become good. Kung ugly ka, wala tayo magagawa dyan. Talagang <laughs> mahirap remedyohan niya. But, sabi nga ng iba, sa mundong ito, walang pangit. Walang pangit. Iba-iba lang ang mukha. Yeah. So, What is Jesus telling us in the gospel? In this world, halo-halo, mix the good and the bad. Now, pag sinasabi ito, we think right away, ah, ako ay good, the rest are bad. Why? Why do you propose, presuppose right away? Hindi ka nagkakasala, hindi ka nagsisinungaling, hindi ka nagchichismis, naninirampuri, hindi di ka gumagawa na masama. Let us not suppose right away that we are good or better and all the others are bad. We are all sinners. Lahat tayo makasalanan. Huwag tayong husga sa kapwa. Ay, ang katabi kong yan. Ay, nako. Mm-hmm. Ewan. Katabi kong yan. Ay, nako. Mahirap na magsalita. Ay, ewan. No. We are all sinners. Yun. Now, what is the Lord teaching us. Oh. Mixture. Ang buhay sa mundo, uulitin ko, ng the good and the bad. We should not judge. Sabi niyo, bakit ganyan? Why is it like that? Eh, sa pamilya nga, ganyan eh. May, ma- may babait na anak. May bad sheep. Di ba? Eh, pa- family na yun. Eh, isang pinanggalingan nun. Pero may mababait na anak. There are good children and there are bad children. Sa barangay, there are law-abiding citizens and there are non-law-abiding citizens. Halo-halo tayo. Oo. And sometimes, when there are big crimes being committed, alimbawa, serial killer or whatever, people will say, pag na, nahuli yung uh, uh, suspect, ayay, he's our neighbor. Ang bait niyan. Sino mag-aakalang mamamatay tao pala yan? You see, we can never tell. We can never say. All we need to remember is, if not by the grace of God, we are sinners. Magpakumbaba tayo sa Panginoon. Now, what are we to do? Why, bakit, Why is the Lord mixing us up? Why, is, why are there evil people and good people in the world? Why does He tolerate the evil people? Because God is a loving Father. He loves us all, sinner or saint. Di ba sabi ng Gospel? He makes the sun 
shine on everyone. He makes the rain fall on everyone. Nakakita po kayo ng araw na uh, ang araw sumisikat lamang parang spotlight sa ibang mga tao at sa iba e- eclipse. Do you ever experience rain? Oh, eh porke ikay mabuti eh. Uh, sa iyo tumatam ang rain, katabi may wala. No, all of us experience sunshine and rain. Yun. So what is the meaning of this? God loves us all and wants us to be good or even better. Kayo mga magulang, if you have children who are bad, are you going to tell them, remain bad, become worse? Of course not. You will all pray and wish that someday your black sheep will be good. Sabi nga nung isa, Father, my son went into a life of crime and drugs. He left home. So what do you do now? How do you regard them? We still love him, Father. In fact, every night we leave a light by the window open so that if ever he comes near the house, he knows there is a welcome awaiting him. you. So, God gives everyone a chance to repent, to turn away from evil so that we can go back to the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. Uh-oh. And then somebody said, eh, eh, palagi ho yung mga masasamang tao, yung natatalo ang mga mabubuting tao. The bad people are winning over the good people. You know why? Because the good people are not doing anything. A famous person said, for evil to triumph in the world, all that is necessary is for good people to do nothing. Para magtagumpay ang kasamaan, ang kailangan lamang, walang gawin ang mga mabubuting tao. As the founder of the St. Christopher Movement says, it's better to light a candle than to curse the dark. So if we think we are good by the grace of God, though we are sinners, let's continue to do good. You know, there are so many examples for us. Yesterday was the feast day of Saint Mary Magdalene. Magdalena yan? Bad woman yan? Excuse me, bad woman. Ay, nasa Bible naman yan eh. But, when she encountered the Lord, she left yung pagiging magdalena niya o masamang babae and follow the Lord, love the Lord, and remain faithful to the Lord. Si St. Paul, persecutor yan ng mga Christians. But when he met the Lord, he became the champion of Christianity. And in a news channel the other day, I saw the following. A woman in America, she was into drugs and a life of crime. And she was in jail several times. But somehow the grace of God entered her life. And from that time on, until now, you know what she does? She writes beautiful messages of love, of hope puts them in an envelope and writes, If you are sad and lonely, read this. And then she leaves these notes sa trees, along the, the roads, sa shopping area, sa phone booth, gasoline stations. And so many people have found these notes of hers and opened them and found renewed hope for life. Ang dami nag-testimonya doon. I was so sad. I was about to give up. And then I saw this note and said, don't give up. Keep on going on. Hope is on the way. 
it touched me and gave me inspiration to go on. Dear brothers and sisters, ganyan talaga ang buhay. Halo-halo ang mabuti at masama. But let us not be defeated by evil, but defeat evil by doing all the good that we can. The Gospel also teaches us that at the end of the world, there will be an accounting and a judgment for those who, those sinners, remain faithful to the Lord and started to do what is good by the grace of God, they will be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. But for those who refuse to accept the invitation of God to be a better person, to return like prodigal children to His loving arms, even the Lord cannot go against their freedom of will and decision. So, dear brothers and sisters, the gospel is a reminder for us. If we are good by the grace of God, though we are sinners, become better persons. If we are bad and we are far away from the Lord, come back to the Lord. The Lord is waiting for you. Then there will be a joyful reunion in the kingdom of heaven where everyone will share in the love and goodness of the loving Father in heaven. Amen. Please rise. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, in this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Jude Tadeus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Father's forgiveness as we learn to forgive others as well.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of God's joy and peace. the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those unable to receive Holy Communion, especially the homebound, joining us through this TV Mass, we invite you to join us in our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
announcement, the Acts Catholic Prayer Community invites everyone to the, this Wednesday to its weekly prayer meeting at 7 p.m. here in this chapel. There will be a praise and worship followed by a talk about the reluctant prophet, the last of the series for the month of July entitled Game Changers. The speaker is Reverend Father Vilhilio Ohoy. Please all stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have endued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Silently, please join me in the prayer of St. Gertrude for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Together with me are two seminarians from the canon regulars of our Lord Jesus Christ, Brother Dindo and Brother Pradif. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go and remain faithful to the love of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.